Okay, folks, here we are back again at the Cuban Missile Crisis. As usual, make sure you have the usual things, textbook, notes, and you have enough sleep. Okay, please don't be doing this at 2am in the middle of the night. I will slap you virtually. Okay, um, so we are going to look at three parts. We are still here. We are at the build up to the crisis. Okay, this is where we are at. And on the notes, we are here. Okay. Second page, I would like to teach you how to play cheat on the notes or rather how to frame your learning. Um, you can see the first point here is about the significance of Cuba. So there's some uh, preamble that gives you an introduction. Okay, um, 1A and 1B, straight away they break down for you what are the different categories that we can think about importance. Okay, so here already I know before even reading through the notes, looking through the lecture, it's about political and it's about economic. So this is what I'm starting to think about, right? I'm categorizing my thinking. Okay, uh, another thing you can do when you're reading notes is always to look at the conclusion first. There's a summary here. So I know should be strategic, political, economic. Okay, political and economic, I'm, I know what it is. So, but strategic, maybe I'm not so sure. So that is something I need to pay attention to as we go through this lesson. Okay, um, and that says continue to track these three changes. So track, what does it mean? To keep, um, stay aware of changes, right? So, again, I need to be alert to what are the changes. And if there are changes, what is the significance of the change? Okay, every time there's a change, it must be important. If not, there's no point remembering it. Okay, so that is what we are going to look at today. What is the big deal about Cuba to the USA? Why does the USA consider it important? Okay, so back to the note, slide, sorry. Okay, so why was... Cuba important? That is the question that we are going to look at today. Let me explain why. If I don't think Cuba is important, I will not spend any effort on it. Okay. So, the USA will only intervene Cuba because Cuba is of great importance to them. Okay. So, let's have a look. Um, it says historically the Caribbean area, which is uh, what we have looked at, okay, has been a lucrative trading hub. That lucrative means very profitable. Highly profitable. Okay. Um, many luxuries, natural resources. Okay. It says here, whoever controls the Caribbean will control the flow of trade from Central America to Europe. Okay. Um, let me explain with this diagram. Okay. Uh, I ripped it from Google Maps. Here, let me orientate you. Here, we have Europe. Here, we have Africa. Oops. My bad. Here we have the USA. Here we have South America. And here we have the Caribbean. Okay. What happens is that historically, if I am a man living in Europe and I am a businessman and I am rich enough, what I will do is that I will sail down and I will make money. I want to trade in the Caribbean, okay? What I want to do is that I want to set up a plantation here, okay, in the south of the US or somewhere in the Caribbean. Why? Because there's many, many good stuff, uh, valuable things there, uh, sugar, tobacco, okay? So what I do is that I will sail down to Africa. What to do? Uh, more trade, but also slaves from here. Then I sail here. Put the slaves on my plantations. Okay. Uh, and then I grow the crops. I bring them back here and I sell them at great profit. With that profit, I reinvest uh, more trips, more slaves, more plantation. Overall, more money. Okay, what am I trying to show you here? I'm trying to show you here that the Caribbean is critical to the economic enterprise which is going on at this point in time. Okay, so that is why it is lucrative. That is how it is important to the global flow of commerce. Okay, so basically, if I can control the Caribbean, I can control a lot of money. 
okay because if i sit there and i just tax any ship that come that comes in uh, i'm gonna make a lot of money okay um these are also some of the goods uh cuban cigars um very expensive apparently very high quality don't ask me i don't smoke okay uh, sugar tobacco we'll show you some more later okay so if you think about it what are we looking at now um the usa considers the whole of the americas when we're talking about the americas here we are talking about north and south america whoops sorry okay we're talking about the continents of america okay which is to say both americas north america and south america that is what we are talking about Okay, um, and they say that this is in my sphere of influence. Okay, um, when did they say this? They say this in eighteen twenty three. Okay, so already, what is the conclusion that we can draw here? This is the USA's mindset. Okay, anything in the Americas is theirs. And what does the Monroe Doctrine say? In Mon the Monroe Doctrine says that any attempt to colonize or act in the Americas is an act of aggression. If somebody attacks me, what does it mean? This justifies any response. Oops, sorry, my spelling's off today. As what? Defensive because if you come in, if I just take my claim, I say all oh, this area is mine, you come in, okay, that's an act of aggression, and therefore I can do anything I want to you, okay. This is the American mindset, okay. What does this mean? This means if anybody tries anything in Cuba, they can push them out, okay. So, what is the big deal? Okay, we are looking at your notes, huh? your notes is here, huh? We are. The question that you have on your notes is why does the USA want to control Cuba? Okay. So it is close to the USA. What is the big deal about being close to the USA? Think, think, think. Okay. The reason is because if I want to attack the USA, then I must uh, launch any attack from there. Okay. So it means that there is a potential military threat, okay? It is a launch pad la, for invasion. By military thinking, if I wanted to invade the USA, I, I can't do it over the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic. If I wanted to, I have to set up a base in Cuba, okay? Uh, furthermore, because Cuba is the largest island in the Caribbean, if I want to control the Caribbean, I will control Cuba. Look at this. Cuba dominates the Caribbean, right? It is in the middle. Okay, It can exert naval power. It can exert cultural control over the rest of the Caribbean. Okay, So if you control Cuba, you control the rest. Okay, So that is why the USA is interested in Cuba. Okay. That is why they want to maintain control over Cuba. So there are two issues here. Control as well as safety. If I control Cuba, it means that nobody can attack me. If Cuba is like a gate, okay, imagine, uh, imagine this is, uh, let me draw it out. So let's say I have... One, two, three, four, five, six. These are my areas of interest. And here I have a gate. From the gate, it is possible for me to cut attack this, attack this, attack this. But it's the only way in. So if I am the USA, what do I want to do? Do I want to put all my soldiers on all these different areas? No, I won't. Because that doesn't guarantee me any kind of defense. I will defend the gate. Okay? If I defend the gate, nobody can attack me. Okay, so I will put everybody on the gate. That is what it means by saying that I will guarantee the safety of the USA. Okay? That is what it refers to by strategic importance. Strategic just means long term interest. It carries the idea of military security okay 
So I want to say this is my strategic concern. It means that I need to keep it safe so that I am protecting my country. Okay. So that's the political side. Now let's look at the economic side. Okay. So if we look at it, what is the USA so interested in? Money, ah. Okay. So two main things: sugar and tobacco. Yeah, high demand even now. Everybody wants sugar. Everybody, unfortunately, wants tobacco. Okay. So why? So what is the implication? It means that the USA wants ah. Okay. They want a slice of the economic pie. What does this mean? They want more of the profit margin. Okay. So I invest more. What do I do? What does it look like by investing? I, the American, I will go and set up a business in Cuba. I will go and set up a sugar plantation or a tobacco plantation. Then I grow the sugar and the tobacco, okay, using Cuban workers. But since it's an American business, where do the profits go? It goes back to America, okay. Will the Cubans like this? Hmm, maybe not, okay. Well, this is what it looks like. I don't think this is a recent photo, but I mean, it looks quite nice. Okay. How does this work? Okay. They will buy land, build factories, and employ workers. Think about this process. If I buy land and I build factories and I employ workers, where does the money go? The money goes to the USA. Okay. However, what happens to the Cuban? They are working for the Americans, but they are not getting any money. Okay. Um, and so the vast majority of the Cubans are essentially workers on the plantations. Uh, this means that the profit from my country, if I'm a Cuban and this is my country and the sugar is growing on my land, but the profit is not coming to me, then I become very upset. Okay. So you can really see the beginnings of uh, some sort of tension. Okay. Um, you can see that obviously if I'm the USA, I want to protect my economic interest. Why? Because I can make as much money as I can. Okay? So, but the Cubans did not like it. So what is the point here? There is resentment. Okay? The Cubans do not like this. Besides that, the Americans, of course, uh, they, are not, they don't just walk in and take everything. Um, they will get some of the Cuban elite to be on their side. So, of course, there is a large economic gap because there is a vast majority of poor Cubans who are working uh, but are at, at, uh, at risk of uh, corruption, low wages, so on and so forth. Okay? So, overall, what do we see? The USA... And it's interested in Cuba because it wants to protect itself and it wants to get as much profit as possible. Are they really interested in the welfare of Cuba? No. Okay. That is why they want to control Cuba. They want to keep themselves safe and they want to make money. Okay. Of course, the Cubans are not going to like this. So naturally, they are going to fight back against it. Let, uh, so we must have a look at uh, what is going to happen as a result of this. Okay? So we will stop here before we move on to the next chapter. Sorry, next section.